that first generation is always going to have challenges integrating. I mean, there are, uh, like I said, in, in, in my, my district in St. Michel, there are Italian grandmothers who uh, still pretty much only speak Italian, don't speak much French or English, but their kids and their grandkids are seamlessly and completely integrated into Montreal, and the only difference uh, is that they tend to be trilingual and not just bilingual. And that's, you know, this is understanding that when we think about integration and success, we can't be overly impatient. We need to be respectful and keep a solid pressure and forward movement articulated. But we do have to know that the pressures that particularly the second generation will be faced if you're not thoughtful about it, between having to choose between their identity and their religion and uh, their community and the school that they're part of, there shouldn't be contradictions and conflicts because we all fundamentally in Canada uh, need to aspire to the same shared values of openness, respect, compassion, willingness to work hard, desire to be there for each other, equality, justice, opportunity. These kinds of things are, are shared by all of us and need to be. Okay, okay. Mr. Mayor. The, the reason why uh, what Justin said is so important is if we're not careful, the concern you rightly raise is playing to the narrative of Daesh and so-called ISIS. So let me tell you what I mean. There are people in Daesh and so-called ISIS who say it's incompatible to be a Muslim and to hold Western liberal values. And by the way, there are far-right politicians in the USA, in the UK, and elsewhere saying the same thing. And look, I am the West. Daesh and so-called ISIS hate someone like me because I've proven it's possible to be a Londoner, it's possible to be a Brit, it's possible to be a European, it's possible to be of Pakistani heritage, of Asian origin, and to be a practicing Muslim. And it's really important that we don't inadvertently help Daesh and so-called ISIS do their job of recruiting our youngsters to join what they're doing. And that's why the shared values that Canada is famous for is so important, and it's really important that you know, the left recognizes, we've got to address this issue. You know, the, 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 the time of laissez-faire, integration is going to happen by itself, just chillax, those days are gone. Globalization, the internet, uh, the messages of hate being, being transmitted into bedrooms means that people like Justin, the Prime Minister of Canada, people like me, the Mayor, have responsibility, and, but we mustn't allow people with concerns to not have those concerns addressed, and it's very different from playing on people's fears or concerns.